What's up, Rotorheads, Motorheads? So, the day has come that we're gonna port this engine, right? So, um, let me show you what I got going on here. So, I taped this off just to mark where I'm gonna be uh, cutting out with my die grinder. There's a couple bits I use, like I use that one. These two, there's a few I use, but you guys will see them as I'm going through them. Um, so I marked it off with some tape, give it some love. This will protect a little bit so that the, the die grinder, in case I so happen to slip, it runs up here. I'll put some Gorilla Tape on it, helps out a little bit. Um, but we're gonna get in there also, and uh, we'll see how it goes. All right, being that we're gonna be cutting, um, I don't have to cut much this way. I, I like to face the plate, the iron towards me so that I can go this way with it, all right? So we're gonna, we're gonna go this way. So I'm gonna hit it nice and easy through here. Um, if you guys notice, there's a little bit of a, more of a ledge right here, right, it goes down. So I need to follow that line carefully um, and take it up. It's starting to take shape some. Um, if you guys see, I'm barely at the tape. I'm close to the, close to the tape right there. So because I'm so close to the tape, I'm not gonna uh, hit that no more. I'm gonna focus on this piece right here. I'm gonna focus on going down into this here. So I'm gonna start cutting down into this groove more um, and then coming back up and doing this. I kind of alternate between both um, just because I like seeing the whole entirety of it done instead of just seeing one piece and that tin they're focusing the other. It just helps my brain work better. So I'm gonna hit a little more here, going this way, and then that way. Um, I, as you guys see this, I keep on putting my finger in here as I'm polishing, as I'm porting it, because I, I like to feel in there, see if there's any knobs or notches or something I gotta do, little hills where I gotta focus on more. That way it's, it's a nice and even pattern, right? So that's why I'm always like putting my finger in to make sure that it's good. Um, and uh, I need to start going this way more, focusing more on this. Being that I, I feel like I've already hit on this part right here, the, the, the fattest portion, now I'm gonna start angling the, the port up. Um, that way it's not just faced and then at the end, um, now I'm just gonna focus here on just uh, getting that nice little angle for the port itself. So I switched to a smaller bit just to get a little bit more um, finessing in here. Um, it's a smaller real estate, obviously. See how the different that thing? So this is smaller. That way I don't go into this right here, into the tape. If I cut that way, this is where the oil seal or the oil control rings hit, and it'll smoke a little bit. So I'll try to avoid that by all means necessary. So here we go.
So as I'm, uh, I like to double check my work, even though I marked it off with tape, I'll put the template back on here, um, just to make sure that everything's still copacetic. And as you guys can see there, I'm really good. That line right there, I don't know if it's, it's but there you go. So you guys can see the edge there, doing really good. Can I technically give it some more loving and continue grinding up here a little more? I can, and I'll, I might just feather it very lightly, um, like like right in this corner right here. But for the most part, um, I'm just gonna clean this side up right here on the edge. The edge can go a little more. Uh, again, I'll just give it just a little more loving on that one. But I'm gonna focus on the bottom piece right here now. Now we're switching to stones after we use the, the die grinder stuff. Uh, the stones works really well to smooth out the metal um, that the burrs have left. So I like using stones and let me show you why I'm talking about. So when you guys look in there, you guys can see that there is a bunch of like markings on there. You guys can see those ripples. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna smooth it out with the stone. It leaves them really nice and pretty. So stonework, it's a must. And uh, I'll show you guys as I'm going what it looks like. So, stand by. All right, so we're gonna be doing, I did the stonework already. You can see it's a lot nicer, not clearer in there. Well, the tunnel, it gets a lot of the, the, the chewing up from the, from the die grinder. But now we're gonna go ahead and start sanding it and you can see the difference on it. You see the difference between both two ports stuck and us. So after we do the stonework, I like I like to use a little drum sand, sanders right here. And I have one of these, and all it does is just put it in there, you twist it, snug, it's ready to go. Alright? So this will get lit. I already used one the top one you guys are looking at. Now I'm gonna use it for the for the port itself. So I'm gonna turn this around. You guys will be able to see in there. All right, so little by little, I'm gonna go ahead and start using the wheel there. Actually, let me pull that one more. Always gotta find the angle. Cool, one more piece. 
one more step. I don't get too crazy with that. I don't need to because it's not that bad. But it's getting there. And then now what I like to do is my favorite part, so what I call the flappers. These are my little flappers right here. It's a very small piece, has a slit in it. I cut the strips of um, sandpaper. Um, like right now I'll use like a, I believe I have like 600, yeah, 600 right here. And uh, what I like to do is I like to grab the scissors. Here's my scissors. Got two pieces. And I'll just put that in there. I forgot which side it goes. Maybe it goes this way. I'm gonna cover the whole freaking wheel. Just like that. Whenever I'm using it, it just kind of flaps and it, it gives it a nice polish on there. So, let me take this wheel off. I don't know if I can find my other wrench. Oh, here it is. It's pinched. So this is the to me like this is like the the satisfying part because you see all the hard work from going all being ground up and rough and to opening it up and um, see it get all nice and polished out. So it's really exciting. It's, like, it's the part where like ah that's why I did all that hard work for. Besides seeing the numbers on the when you go to the track and the dyno, you're like oh that's why I did it. That's why I really did it. All right. Let's see if I put this the right way, because I always forget which side the die grinder goes. So, yep, see that? Boom, I got it the right way. So I'm gonna grab, take this off. I like to put the flapper in here first, give the, the, the actual, the, the port runner right here. And then uh, let me put some goggles on just in case, because we got contact lenses on. And uh, let me give it a go, and here it goes. It doesn't have to look pretty, it just has to work. And at this one you might be able to see better when I'm porting it, the transformation from like being kind of roughed up to in the sandpaper. <laughs> I'm gonna hit it with the thousand. Hit it with the 600. Bam, done. I'm gonna hit it with the thousand. Now, there's a, a lot of folks who will tell you that, oh, you don't want to do so. Make it look like glass because you need to leave some porous in there. Um, and then what I'm gonna tell you is, you do what works for you. That's all I'm gonna tell you. So if you want to leave the porous sanding material and leave it kind of rough, that's on you. I don't. I like to leave it nice and pretty. Um, and not just pretty, but to me, from my results, it's all the work I've done and from the work that um, a lot of my colleagues have done, and they still do, um, we polish the shit out of it. And it works for us. So if your machine shop guy or your, or your engine builder says, oh, we don't do that here, we leave it porous, then, okay, follow whatever you want. But this works for us, this works for me, and uh, I wanna polish the shit out of it. It is what it is. Everyone, everyone has, has their thing, you know, oh, don't do that, or you should do this this way, or you should do the port that way, or you should machine this way. Look, there's a thousand ways to, to do things. So do what works for you, you know? Do what you think is best. I wanna tell people what to do. Here's a thousand.
battery's about to die. And that, guys, is how we do it. So we did the carbides, we did the stones, we did the drum, little drum rolls, and we did the flappers. Port is done. All polished up. As you guys see, the this is the stock. I mean, this is ported. And then uh, back here, we had the stock one. Well, it's still stock. Gabe started that one, but um, it's in the works right now. So, but yeah, but um, that's how we do it. It's really good.